Do you want to make instant $27 commissions over and over again? If so, check out the automated cash app system. Link below. Hey, what's up? It's your man Earl, Batman Stringer. And uh, in this video, we talking about fighting with my family. I know I'm late on it, but hey. It is what it is. I just watched it. Now, this movie is about um, WWE star uh, Paige. Um, and it's basically a movie about her life, how she made it, you know, to be a professional wrestler, uh, how she became successful in the WWE. Now, before I get into this, first of all, I just want to say, growing up, I was a huge, huge wrestling fan. Like, I was the dude. Okay, I'm not veering off. But damn it, it's my channel. But I was the dude as a little kid, man. I was the dude, Hawkamania, uh, WrestleMania 3. I remember going to a, like a, they had like a little arena set up in my state in Ohio. They had like a little arena set up. You can go see WrestleMania 3. I think it was back in 1984 or something like that. And I remember going to, I was three years old. I remember seeing it. It was just amazing. I was a wrestling fan all the way up to like 2000 maybe 2005 or 2006 whatever still kind of from here and there i see little videos about it. i know what's going on and stuff and like that but a huge huge wrestling fan um so when this movie came out i kind of was like oh interesting i do know who paige is um but you know so anyway she has a, a movie basically about her so this movie um takes place i guess like when she was like starts from when she was like a little kid her and her brother what was they at what where, what country was they from? Was it Australia, England, London? I don't know. Anyway, um, her and her brother wanted to become professional wrestlers. So her family, her dad, her mom, they all was in the wrestling business from wherever they was from. And they, they kind of was doing their thing on like the little indie, indie thing. But their goal, um, uh, Paige's character, well, Paige, and her brother's goal was to make it to WWE. Because that's the equivalent of making it to like the NBA if you're a basketball player or, or the NFL if you're a football player, right? So that's everybody go. Even to this day, if you're a wrestler, your your main goal is probably to get to WWE, right? So anyway, um, the movie you know basically shows you how she got from local local wrestler to like superstar, all right? So let's talk about it. Uh, what I didn't like about well, let me say what I did like about the movie. Um, well, I did. No, I did like the fact that it, it kind of showed you like her challenges. You know, what I mean, what she had to go through because you see her on like TV and everything. You're like, oh, you know, you wonder what people went through to, to get through that. And I think the movie did a good job of kind of showing you like how she got from, um, you know, where she was. Like very, very, very humble beginnings. It seemed. To, to all the way how she got to like, you know, um, a main event and, and won the title and on Raw or whatever she was on. And to see that was like pretty cool. Like literally after I, well, we watched the movie, we literally brung up on YouTube the real, her real first match in WWE. And it was very, very similar to what they did in the movie. Obviously the movie was a little different. You know, they made it, you know, a little more appealing for the, for the movie, you know. Um, I did like that. Uh, what else did I like in it? Uh, oh, I, I mean, I like the overall story. You know what I mean? Just show, showing the grind. They had a little bit of uh, humor in it here and there. Uh, and I guess that was really how it was for her. You know, her, her dad, you know, was, was, her family just seemed silly. They was all in the wrestling, but they was all seemed like they all had very interesting. Um, they was all very interesting characters. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like that. Um, trying to think what else. Pretty good, blah blah blah. Now I will say this. Now I'll say it at the end of this review. All right, what I didn't like about it. Um, honestly, when only thing I could say I normally don't like like um true stories. <laughs> I normally don't like true stories, so that ain't really a dislike. That's it, cause shit, I knew I was what I was watching before I watched it. But normally I hate like. You know, like this will happen. You know what I mean? Because I like movies where you just don't know what happened. Like, I know Paige right now. She's still in WWE. Like, I know nothing crazy happened. You know, whatever. Um, but other than that, I mean, I think it... What else did I say I didn't like? Well, they say The Rock. 
if you're a rock fan and you see him listed as the star of the movie he's like his name is on it first the rock has like three scenes in the whole movie so i get why they would put he's the star of the movie because he's the rock dwayne johnson i get it you know that's good for numbers but like if you go into that movie thinking he's like really really in it you're gonna be devastated when you realize he's in it like three scenes but honestly that doesn't really deter the movie it really don't like his part in it almost you almost didn't even need the rock in this movie to still be a decent movie all right so um like in every video you know your boy gotta talk about the ending all oh, i gotta talk about the ending here's the thing man you know i do my thing right you know i you know, i work out I, mean, I, I feel like i'm pretty tough i'm all right you know what i'm saying I, you know rap a little bit do what i do is it just me or did the end of this movie the, the, the last scene give you chills huh i mean i almost i almost felt damn near teary-eyed at the very end you know when her first match okay call me a bitch if you want it's all right i take that you know what i'm saying it's youtube say whatever you want but for a minute now i didn't no, let's make this shit clear i did not i did not cry okay but i can feel that like the like the little the little tear workers was in the back was in the back of the head just brewing up they was brewing up to tears and shit brewing humming and singing and shit they was brewing them tears up and they was they even picked the tears up they was carrying them and shit they was carrying them to my eyes they was carrying them they was about to pour them bitches out through my eyes but then i stopped somebody was like yo 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 no need for that we don't need to pour them we good we good right so i didn't do it but i did like the little ending and obviously you know what the ending is because if you watch wwe or know anything you get it all right so with all that being said i'm going to get fighting with my family a four out of five hell no it ain't no five i mean because it was like i already knew what was going on i knew what happened boom, boom, boom. but it definitely is a good movie it was better than i thought it would be to be honest with you that's probably why it took me so long to actually watch the movie <laughs> because you know what i'm saying like i already knew the story like get it you know i seen her on total divas that's what huh what total divas no nah, i don't watch that shit hell no nah. anyway yeah uh fighting with my family if you saw it no if you didn't see it i definitely recommend check it out especially if you're a wrestling fan if you're a page fan if you're a page fan you probably already seen it uh if you uh did see it Please comment below. Let your boy know what did you think. I let the chain hang. Yeah, I'm tattered up. And I love to cuss. I just don't give a give a See, I'm just doing me. And you should do you. Yeah, I hear you talking. That's just your point of view. And see, I just don't care. I'll be like, mm, yeah. I done heard it all. Damn, there's haters everywhere. And they keep me motivated.